1540b, summary by Kalle Lundahl. 1540b mm. in English. <clears throat> we have been discussing Derrida's life, death. It was a conference that he gave in 1975, the year of my birth by chance. 1975. That was one reason why I was attached to this text. But the reason why I also emphasized that Haas would take this text, uh, I was working on a similar program in Revelation chapter 3, verse 7, where you had this text. It's Jesus who is speaking. He who is holy, or Agios, he who is, uh, who is the truth, or who has, who speaks the, uh, who is, how do you say it, who is truly, it's a relative, who is truthful, he who is truthful, who has the key of David who opens, and th that whatever he opens, nobody will be able to close. Uh, and so, and you have in some manuscripts, excuse me, this I should eliminate, I'm confusing. And here, if I were an editor, how would I edit? Um, because you have in some manuscripts, Hades. So instead of David, he was the key of David. Um, you have the key of da Hades. That is the realm of death. So Jesus has solution one, he has the key of David, or B, he has the key of Hades, the some manuscripts. And this one of the manuscripts is actually Madrid in El Esca Royal, manuscript 2015. And so how would you, if I were an editor, uh, present the text to the reader? Thinking uh, back and forth, perhaps I would write, he has the key of David Hades. That is uh, without of this uh, huge space here, but um, so without the key of David and Hades. And this would, so to say, mimic the name of Derrida's conferences, life death. There was no uh, hyphen there between life death or any slash. It was only a well, little bit empty space, blank space. Uh, but I would also uh, imitate. Another thing is that it would also reflect the commentary of Archbishop Andrea of Caesarea, who didn't polarize these two readings, David and Hadis. He could, so to say, smoothly incorporate them in his commentary, while modern editors they marginalize, they put this reading, Hadis, in the footnote. I know people, scholars will be pointing fingers at me and they will be saying, and Harris, you have it only in some manuscripts, uh, late manuscripts. But who knows, perhaps it's the late manuscript, which has the original reading, we don't know. Even these so-called early manuscripts, they are from 4th century, 4th, 5th century, so they are even late. Uh, think what could happen in three, four hundred years, if we could also solve this. So, and I think also this discussion of, of, of original is problematic. Here we had the thing, um, Russian doll. So what is really inside, what is outside? Um, and another thing I liked in this text was the allusion to the bacteria. So you could say in a way, Hadis standing for the bacteria. You need the bacteria, Hadis. To, 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 to make a living organism to live, you need the bacteria, you need death. Um, I don't think even King David would have been possible without death. Um, I suppose now in theology he's sitting there as a king, uh, or perhaps he will be reigning as a king in a uh, future kingdom, <laughs> as a uh, so, kind of thing. so he, is, he needed to die, he too, so to say, in order to live. So that life it goes together with death. It's, it's, it's a difficult concept for us to die, uh, digest. We, we think that death is certainly negative, and it's negative, but we need it, like we need bacteria in our bodies. Um, so I would like to ask you, Hans, what you um, and you, this was Sakharis, that this is in for concept. Only people who have dyslexia, I think, uh, read word uh, letter by letter, yes. or like this, 
the, the key of the David and then they can not take in the hole but you need the wholeness of Hades too so you need to if you're a good reader you, you will be able to read yes. the whole context yes. um, <clears throat> So 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 uh, Mahade, so 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 uh, to um, Hans, um, you uh, I don't mind if you object to my uh, proposal here. So I'm still working, uh, struggling with this. Mm -hmm. uh, so if I were an editor, if you were an editor, would you print it like a proposal that he was the key of David, had his without any space? Would you present it like that, or would you perhaps put this in between parentheses? Because I think a practice is also justified in its sense. Or do you have an, uh, perhaps a third proposal? Yeah, let me think of a third proposal. But next to each other, there would be that there would be simultaneous reading of them. Uh, the parenthesis might make the parenthesis be read first, if I understand how the cicades work. Uh, but both both are pretty good. And as you say, it could be a third solution as well. And I actually, for once, even though not having a shirt on me, I have a trump up my sleeve. But that surprise would be in another lecture. I think that is something that potentially could be helpful in this case. And Derrida is in itself a mysterious man. I like the positive connotation that Mr. Go could have, and he is a mystery within a mystery. And he is multi layered like the Russian doll. You can have a different understanding of him, and it goes deeper, or as deep as the reading takes you, your reading. But there are some things. Um, I mentioned Arkady Plotnitsky the other day, and I had a read of him, I think it was 1534. And he has one of these people who realized that Derrida is actually touching on the molecular structure of the world, so to speak, which is not molecular, it is quantum physical. It is connected to fields and feels read everything simultaneously in a way and then prepares an order and that order is of immense importance it's very close to the text has its flow it tells something and i think this is telling as well before we got to this I think more fixation today than, than these texts when they were written, because we know it's a progressive thing, this. Uh, we dance, as Kalle said, with dyslexia. But already today there's a fixation with the beginning of a sentence. And if you ask people, they would <laughs> we'll say, start from left and go to right. Well, no, no. <laughs> we know that's not the case. You need to take the whole text, otherwise you would be struggling to get the holistic understanding of it. And I think that is one of the things that Derrida is pointing to, as sort of the contradiction between teleology and mechanism disappears. Well, rather it doesn't, it's not that sharp anymore. It is not as punctual. It is not two pointy spheres at each other. It is rather a fractality. If you think of the Norwegian coastline once more, I have to bring back that up, but it's a very good thing by Terry Marx Tarnoff. This is happening in a reading as well. And also the lines are connected. We know that from the saccades. There's a reading that goes like this. Reading is incredibly much more different than we think. And we just started to sort of, just like when we started to understand Darida, to look into this fantastic revelation, which is the text. Uh, 
think we end there with permission and uh, have a very pleasant afternoon out in the sunshine with you. Bye bye for now and have